Hey everybody, thanks for having me. I hope you can all hear me, but uh, if you can't, make a shout out so that we catch it now. So um, I started in the marketing space at a young age. I uh, went to school to go into international marketing, got there and started talking to the teachers. And a lot of the teachers weren't doing any marketing at that point in time, which really confused me. You know, they were trying to teach us how to do it, but they didn't know how to do it themselves. So I went out, decided to forget school, and went into uh, the TV space and started um, doing ads and stuff like that for a lot of different businesses and became one of the top executives in internet in that time in the advertising world and TV marketing. That was a lot of fun. But um, even further back from that, I uh, used to live on a farm and was raised in a little town called Rigby, Idaho, and was raised by my grandma. And she she really emphasized a ton about hard work. And one thing I found in video marketing is you can't underestimate hard work because this isn't uh, get rich or you know do something you're gonna have a viral video in five seconds there's a lot of hard work to it but it's a lot of fun so let's get to it that's what you're here for so let's start talking about some content um, I think you'll recognize some of these faces here they uh, most of them make their living on YouTube and do lots of fun stuff on YouTube that we all really enjoy um, I've been able to have the pleasure of working with and uh, you know, hanging out with all these guys and really enjoy uh, being a part of their community. Um, so the reason I think we're all here and most of you know this is video marketing fact for you is just, you know, LinkedIn's a big network as you can see there. Twitter's a big network. Facebook's huge. But look at the numbers on YouTube. I mean, and the benefits that you get from being on YouTube just gives me so much energy. I mean, it's just amazing how much traffic there is for all of us. So a lot of people say, well, you know, what if I'm not on YouTube now and all these other big YouTubers have all the, the views and I really can't get my channel where I need it to be. That's so not true. There is so much opportunity here. It's not even tapped right now. So I want you to get really excited. I want you to think about yourself right now, get a real positive attitude on what you're doing with your channel and start saying, yes, I can do this because you sure can and you will make a big difference. Um, so the things we're going to talk about tonight is market research, keyword research, channel design, creating engaging content, optimizing videos and promotions, uh, testing and tweaking and repeating. And you're going to hear me talk a lot about number seven because I think it's the most important thing that you can do is test, tweak, and repeat because as soon as you think you've got it, I know you can do it more. And the, one I, the lesson I learned that from or the person I learned that from was Aura Brush. If you go look at their stuff right now, you'll see that they've tested their main actual, I would say, advertisement several times and tried to beat what they've got. And they haven't been able to do it, but they're not afraid to keep testing to get the best results and the best ROI out of what they're doing. So let's get into it, the marketing research. When you start to do your marketing research, a lot of people come to us and they say, hey, we created this video, we've done this, we've done that, but they just haven't done the market research. They haven't went and found out um, what others are doing in the niche you know so if somebody's successful already in this niche you need to go look and see exactly what they're doing now I know that sounds crazy I know it sounds simple but if you'll do it you'll see great things happen um, are there products and services being sold profitably in the market now that's the key right there profitably because there might be products being sold but if they're not making any money on it, it may not be a niche you want to be in or be involved in um, is there enough traffic available to scale the business out? So what I like to talk about is membership sites and continuity programs. Not only am I into YouTube, but I really do a lot in membership sites. So you'll see that I own one of the largest makeup, online makeup sites that there is, and we drive tons of traffic, and we use YouTube to drive that traffic. But where we make our real money isn't off of YouTube, it's off of that, uh, you know, it's off the memberships that we get and being able to scale that. Is it worth your time and effort from the opportunity cost standpoint. So if you can't get an ROI on this, is it still worth your time and energy? Now you'll notice as I go through this too, I have a hobby that I love, which is cycling. I love to ride bikes. And so in knowing that, I've just done a YouTube channel just for fun, just for my own self. And when you do that, that doesn't matter if you get an ROI necessarily. So keep that in mind, what you're doing, what's your purpose. A ninja tip um, that you need to keep in mind is don't create demand but fill it, fill the need. And so many people go out there and they try to push a rope uphill. Don't do that. YouTube, any of the marketing you're doing, I know you know these things, 
but make sure you're filling a demand, filling a niche, and you'll be a ton more successful. So keyword research. I think most of you know how to do this, but if you don't, one thing you want to keep in mind is make sure you're looking for long tail keywords. Now, the reason I tell you that is, is because I'll have a lot of clients that'll come to us and they'll say, I want to rank for, you know, back pain specifically. And it's like, okay, well, that's a pretty big, you know, and not that you can't rank for that, but there's so many other niches that people are looking for that you can rank for that make it so much easier for you and quicker. So I just, I just encourage you to make sure as you're doing your YouTube key keyword research that you look for some long tail keywords to really make this a lot better and more effective for you and faster results and a lot less competition. Analyze the top ranking videos and see what they are doing. So many people don't look at the videos that they're trying to compete against. They don't look at the titles, what they've titled them. They don't look at the tags that they put in their videos. They don't look at any of these things. They just go out there and try to put their video up. You need to go look at your competition, you know, and make sure you understand exactly what they're doing and how they're doing it. That way you can start to be a lot more successful with your videos. You'll be amazed at how many of these little simple tips clients don't do. And when they come to us, it's just really simple fixes that we can do for them. Um, you must do that before you even create a video. That's just a must. Uh, discover related keyword terms. And our favorite things you can see right here, I'm not going to read them all off, is AdWords. Um, you know, go in there. Do your keyword research with these different um, links. It'll help you. But make sure you do a ton of keyword research before you ever start to do your channel. Once again, I need to repeat that because it's very, very important. Do your keyword research before you start your channel. Okay, next, channel design. Now, this is uh, my makeup channel right here. And channel design is so important. I don't know how much you guys know about internet marketers. Internet marketers spend a ton of time on landing pages. And so if you're not an internet marketer, really go watch some of these guys that are really successful at getting people to convert. They use a lot of arrows. They use a lot of different things to make their pages look and want people to attract their eye to certain things they want them to do. So that's the same thing you need to do on your channel is make sure you're going through and you're doing those type of things so that it is successful. Make the channel look appealing. If it's not here and it's not appealing to people, then you know chances are they're going to go do something else or go somewhere else. So do that for yourself. Here's my cycling one I was talking a little bit about. Um, totally fun channel, really enjoying it. In fact, we're using this right now as a 30-day challenge. We've been doing some webinars for different groups, and I always like to say gold's not afraid of the refiner's fire. And what I mean by that is, is gold, you can turn up the heat all day long, and it's still there, and it, and it works, and it's pliable. Well, we're not afraid of the heat, so we know our process works, we know our system works, so we go out there and we are doing this 30-day challenge right along with you, showing you that we're ranking for these keywords, and we can rank for them very quickly. So if you go down our path or you use my process and Mikey's process to do this, uh, ranking of videos, you're going to get results. We guarantee it in 30 days. So we're doing that right now with that one. This is another channel that we do uh, for a doctor. Um, here's a, probably a channel you're familiar with. You can look at the layout there, see what he's done to attract the eye. Go look at this one. And here's the new layout. I know that you guys are talking about this in your community, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time. It is coming, and uh, hopefully sooner than later we'll all have it. But make sure you've got your, uh, you know, your templates ready to go and everything ready to go for this new layout that's going to be coming for you. So. Pretty excited about that. I think this will be, I think this will really change a lot of things that are going to be happening on YouTube. I think this is the coolest thing they've done in a long time. Um, step three on your channel design. These are the things that I want you to make sure. Have a channel, the look, add custom images and avatar right as you start your channel. Then go through and make sure you set up all your titles, tags, and descriptions. Set your default tab to the featured tab. So I hope you all know what that means, but that's the way we set ours up. Number five, set your feature tab to the bloggers layout. We like that layout the best. We, make, we think it works the best and feels the best. Uh, get social, so connect all your social accounts to it. It's very, very important so when you put your videos out. Uh, set your feature videos. This is the, you know, the main video on your channel. Make sure you set that as what you want that to be. Um, like on the Robert Jones channel, it's always the same video there all the time. On my cycling channel, I change that out. Add links to other channels, um, and then promote your channel. Really, really critical, and a lot of people forget that. They put the video up, 
they forget that YouTube is a social platform and if you don't promote it you just you know it's gonna take you a lot more work and you gotta go out there and uh, be promoting and putting it on other places ninja tip use the full URL uh, when you put your channel up now most of you I don't know if you know this I'm, I hope you do but every YouTube channel and every video has a, a weight to it which means that it's ranked by like web pages are and so the more your channel weight is the more powerful it is and so if you can get links back from channels that have a heavier weight the, the better your channel will rank but if you don't use the full URL to promote your channel with then link then uh, YouTube will get your you know they'll get all the the juice from what you're doing instead of you getting that link juice so make sure you use the full channel name and you use the URL just like this so you get all that link juice back to your channel so that you can get all the benefits of that step number four engaging content now I know all of you know this but it's crucial that we do engaging content and Mikey always loves to bring this up and I love how I put the Mikey is cool you see that up in the front left hand corner there <laughs> he is he's absolutely awesome and he does a, an amazing job at this right here I wish he was actually talking about this section because he's really good at putting these scripts together and we've done a little video on the Bart Allen Miller channel to help you with your scripts but value equals return minus investment and I think all of you get this but just think about this if you're putting the time energy and money into promoting a video are you gonna get the return you expect it because that's what's gonna equal your value and we wanna make sure you get that so make sure that while you're creating your videos that you have the right tone who's your audience what are they doing you have you know make sure if it's goofy if it's serious understand who your audience is and you'll do that by watching the videos that are successful and what's working with your group make sure the hook the hook is a must you know you make sure you've got a great elevator pitch in there you get them you've only got 30 seconds if that maybe even 15 to make sure they stay engaged and they keep with you and they keep watching so make sure you're doing a really good hook get them in there think about that right at the very beginning so you can keep people and guys remember keep it visual there's so many things that we see out there we'll have clients come to us and it's PowerPoint or it's this and it's like, you know, it's great, but it's not very visually stimulating and it's not got the right stuff. And, you know, things aren't moving around. There's no after effects, nothing there. And I'm not saying you have to be that fancy on everything. Granted, there are some videos that do really, really well that have none of that, but their content is just really killer. And generally speaking, it's a subject matter that people just want no matter what it is. And so just keep that in mind. Um, so here's a little ninja tip for you that I think is awesome and I know that every one of you should be doing this and if you're not doing it please start as of tonight very crucial annotations here we go hey this is Mikey Borup with the GoFast video traffic formula in this video we're going to discuss YouTube annotations ninja hinto. それでは聞け. So, YouTube annotations are a great way to interact and educate your viewers without getting too in their face. Buy my stuff right now. Let me show you how easy it is to create a YouTube annotation. Here I am on my video and I simply click annotations. Now I do have to be logged into my account at the time. Now that I'm on my annotations editing screen, I simply have to just navigate to my video of where I want my annotation. I want my annotation right about here. And what the annotation I want to do is a subscribe button. Here's this pillow and I can just simply add a spotlight with a link to my subscribe. And from here I just stick in my YouTube channel. Now I want to make sure that this subscribe button lasts the whole length that the pillow is there. So I'm going to hit play. And I do want to make that a little bit bigger so it kind of covers the whole pillow because he's moving it around. So I zoom in with the zoom bar down here, and then I hover over the end. There's a four-way arrow, and then there's a one-way arrow. The four-way arrow will move the annotation as a whole. The one-way arrow will move just the edge. That's what I want to do. And I line it up with that bar, and now, annotation is on, and it's off. Perfect. It automatically saves it but you have to hit publish before it's live on your channel. I'm going to hit publish now. And I can go and view my annotation on my video. Let's see how it works. 
let's skip forward to where it's at. And I click on it, and it brings me right to the channel. That's exactly what I want to do. So, what could you use these YouTube annotations for? Well, how about to highlight a product, to emphasize a point, to link to other videos or channels, to subscribe to your own channel, to link to other parts within your own video. What you would do is just link to the same video they're watching, but at a certain start time, in which when they click, it'll take them to that part of the video. And external links to your own website. If you're a verified YouTube partner, then you can send a link to your associated website to any of the pages on the site. So what are some other great uses for annotations? Got a good one? Please share. Let me know down in the comments or even just add the video with the killer annotation that you want us to all know about as a video response to this video. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Man, that was awesome. Love that. I thought, I think once again, everybody out there, if you want to and you think about it, you can go through and do this on all sorts of things on your videos and really take your videos to a whole new level with annotations. So optimizing videos, step number five. So keyword placement, really important. When you're going through and you're ranking for ranking factors and making sure you're doing stuff that you need to, you need to make sure to know exactly the file names, tags and the titles, the descriptions, annotations, comments. Make sure you're putting that keyword in those things because that's going to make the difference in this video ranking or not ranking. Incoming links. Make sure that you're going out there and you're getting some incoming links to your video. So many people don't do this and they miss out because they don't get the, the link to be able to get the link juice. Now remember, it's not the same SEO as you would use on a web page, but very similar. Time watched, obviously engagement, huge deal, right? So how long people are staying engaged and watching your content will make the difference on how well your video is actually gonna rank. So make sure that you're not spamming people, but you're actually getting the right people to the right place for the right time. So they watch your video and they're engaged in it. Video views. Once again, if you can't get people to watch the video or click on it, you've got a problem. So make sure you're going out to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all these social networks you're a part of, and make sure you're going out there putting your video link there and getting these people to come and be part of what you're doing and see what you're doing. Uh, five, likes and dislikes. Obviously, if you're getting a lot more likes, we know that you're going to get more views If you and YouTube's going to like you. If you're getting a bunch of dislikes, they're not going to like you so much. Therefore, your video is not going to rank as well as it should. Embeds. Now, embeds are really important because if you get people out there that are embedding your video, YouTube loves that because they also get you to come back and they can show different things on there. So make sure you're getting people to embed things or you're actually going out to your own blog and you're embedding the video on your blog or other people's blogs for you. Helps you a ton. Shares. If you can get other people to share your video, man, I'm living. It's awesome. Once again, to create content that people actually want to share for you is exactly what you want to do. So think about that and think about how can I make this video so good that others will want to share it for me. Playlists, if you can get put in other people's playlists, once again, they're loving it and that's going to help you a ton. Channel subscribes, once again, that's all about numbers and your channel is really important. Lots of people just hit, they promote just their videos themselves and they forget to promote their channel. Don't forget to promote your channel. Your channel, once again, it's just like a website. If you can drive the traffic first to your channel, you know, the better off you're going to be because that way you can get that subscribe instantly right there. Page rank, um, you know, once again, you got to do that. Flags, comments, you know, you can't, I can't stress enough, get as many comments as you can. And here's a little tip for you. If you get video comments, all the better. And video responses, I mean, that's, that's a big, big deal. Uh, to YouTube right now. So get all the video responses that you possibly can. Ninja Tip, discover hidden tags on other videos. So what you do is take your mouse, go to a video, when it's opened up, go right below it, right click on there, and you'll see in the files right there, you'll see view source. When you click on view source, that'll give you, you can look in there and find exactly the tags that people are using in those videos. It's a really cool way to figure out what your competitors are doing in their videos and you can turn around and use that information in your videos to help you rank because you know they're in that video and they ranked therefore they're going to be able to pull for yours. So here's a buddy of mine. I'm going to play a little video. His name's Clint. 
Clint uh, used to be close to our Idaho Falls office, and he'd always come by and say, you know, I just don't think this video stuff's going to, you know, this doesn't work that well, but he'd never tried our system yet. So one day I'm like, Clint, dude, get one of your interns just to try our system, give it a go, and see what happens for you. So here's his response. Our business was expanding into a new area, and uh, we, of course, had paid an SEO company to get it so the website for that area was ranking on Google and everything else. We've been paying a large amount of money every month for about six months and hadn't been seeing too much results. And in the meantime, we signed up for the uh, video program. And uh, I had one of my employees go through the program and I also went through it. And we started optimizing a couple videos for that area. And after three weeks, the videos that we did for that office were on the second page of Google in three weeks, which of course had us going, holy cow, you know, we, we realized this is where we need to be putting our time and energy. So we uh, did a few other videos uh, that we could optimize for down there. I told the agent we had down there to start doing more video tours of properties so we could use the optimization uh, techniques on those videos. And after six weeks, uh, the video was on page one and it led everybody to our website and everything else. During this time period, uh, we went from getting no online leads at all for that area to getting two or three a week and uh, converting owners and clients to our uh, to our business, and it was all because of what we'd done with that initial video and how quickly it moved up Google and and how how good the uh, the optimization techniques and stuff that we got from the program were. All right, so that being said, think about this: you don't have to just do your videos. You can go out and get a lot of business from local businesses. Just rank their videos for them. And absolutely uh, be the rock star in your area because you know take something like Clint puts it into his intern goes out there was already doing SEO work got better results with doing this YouTube stuff than he was off his actual website itself so I think that's pretty dang cool okay promotion let's get into that once again if you have any questions or comments we're gonna do a little Q&A at the very end of this please post them so that Mikey can have them all and that we can have a list of those compiled before we get to the Q&A section to be able to answer for you. So promotion. <clears throat> you need to promote your video via your email, your list. If you have a list, then go out there, email them every time you put a video out. Uh, Facebook posts. Go out there. I, the amazing amount of number, I can't remember the exact stat, how many people watch YouTube videos on Facebook, but it's huge. Make sure you go to Twitter and you tweet these things out instantly after you're doing that. If you have other people on other channels, have them help you too promote your video. Google Plus. Now, Google Plus has been working extremely well for us for ranking our videos. I'm sure you understand why. They're owned by the same people, but really been doing great for us. So if you don't have a Google Plus account, go set one up, which if you have a YouTube account, you have one. Go set it up, but utilize it. Build your community like you're all on Google Plus. What am I even thinking? Good criminy. You're all there and you're loving Google Plus. So make sure you're using Google Plus to put your videos on. Uh, blog posts, Pinterest, another great place that we're getting some good traffic from. Reddit, stumble upon, press releases do amazing. OneLoad.com does amazing for us. And uh, obviously, the more you can do YouTube paid promotions, if you're getting that ROI like we talked about before, then once again, it's a great way to make money every single day on the products that you're selling. Step number seven, test, tweak, and repeat. Like I said before, this is very, very important. So obsess over your YouTube analytics. And I know some of you are great at this, others not so much. So make sure you're going through your analytics, understand them, know exactly what's happening with your channel. Try new tags and keywords. Now, once again, I think you saw Aaron's video before. Be careful with just going and changing your tags and a bunch of stuff without some knowledge on how YouTube works. I don't want you to all of a sudden have a great stream of traffic coming in and all of a sudden it come to a screeching halt. Just not trying to scare you, but at the same time, be cautious. But don't be afraid to test either. Try new thumbnails. You know, we all know thumbnails convert. We all know certain ones convert better than others do. So take that to your advantage. Use tracking links for outsourcing for your outgoing links to your descriptions. Uh, test new annotations. You know, try them in different places. Try new things with them. Uh, call to actions. You know, just once again, it comes down to test, 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 and then retest, and you'll see greater results with everything that you're doing. So, what we did is this is a channel that uh, Robert Jones Beauty Academy, a makeup school that 
um, I own and we started off here's the channel itself you can kind of look at it here's the layout of it I'm gonna kind of get into some numbers with you a little bit because I think this is important for you to kind of see but when we started off we had some uh, in 2011 we had 59,000 views on this channel we had 1,144 subscribers we had 93 comments 597 likes and 154 shares which we were just putting videos up for this site just because we had the content we had stuff but we weren't doing a lot with it as you can tell when we, Mikey and I started actually working on the program and really stressing YouTube and being able to drive traffic with it we did that in 2012 and I kinda wanna show you what we have for views now you can go check the channel out but you can see huge difference in one year and there's two things I wanna stress here one is so many people give up so early in the YouTube game they start off really hard and they work really really hard at it and then all of a sudden it's like you know this is really work and I don't have the time or the energy to do this because I'm not getting the views I want or the subscribers I want so they just instantly give up and they go to quitting and, and you can't quit what you gotta do is keep going be diligent in what you're doing I mean Devin, Lindsay, all these people they were persistent and persistence pays off as you can see right here and you can see our numbers are huge now and they're growing immensely every day so here's a kind of a graph that I want you to take a look at because I think you can see that when we would post a video earlier you can kind of see that we would get a spike and then all of a sudden it would go down it would get a spike you know, spike this is every time we release a video then all of a sudden we started actually doing something we kinda of got like well let's start playing around with different techniques and do some testing like we told you so we started testing right here then all of a sudden we got to here and we got real serious about it and you can just see we've had an amazing climb every since then once we started to dial in our process which is the process that would love for you to take advantage of so this is awkward moments um, you can kinda of see right here I was talking about Aaron's channel he went and did some tweaking um, not knowing everything about the system but he knows a ton now don't get me wrong but he uh, started there and you can kinda of see that he went flatlined right there and so we had to instantly go into his channel and start looking at what we could do to make a difference we did that right here and you can see now he's back and starting to climb the way he should on that exact video so if you've made a mistake on one of your channels or one of your videos that's okay no big deal let's just go through make sure we're doing all the steps we should get it back on track and you'll start to see the results that you wanted to see before so right now we have a program we want to offer you uh, hopefully you take advantage of it um, we've put a lot of time energy into this to making sure that you can get your videos ranked on page <clears throat> on page one in 30 days uh, so there's three different packages here for you there's just a basic package for twenty seven dollars and uh, then there's a pro package at one ninety seven the premium package is the one I think that most of you out there will love and get the most added value out of and that is because we're gonna do a, a basically a look at your channel if you buy this package you send us your YouTube link we're gonna go through and we're gonna start to check it out for you and we're gonna go through and give you kind of some things that you should be doing things that you could improve on so I think that's really important for you to, to check out if you want to look and buy that right now there's the link right there uh, go to buy go fast web go buy gofast.com forward slash YouTube partners and you'll be able to find the actual uh, links there in the page that you can buy that off of so questions right now we're looking for I know some of you have questions so hopefully uh, Mikey's got those rounded up and uh, we'll have a few of those that we can start to answer okay question number one um, Ronnie Benzer wanted you to explain more about um, some of the different places we look for keywords so different places we look for keywords one thing that we do for keywords and this is why I showed you that ninja tip is uh, Ronnie we go and look at the source inside there and we look at what other people are putting in their actual video that we're trying to compete against because we feel like obviously we're competing against it and if you know that information that'll help you a ton another thing that we do is we go out on a lot of the the blogs and we ask questions so we ask ask our audience you know how you know if you're looking for this what would you search for and amazing enough you find a lot of amazing keywords and how people are actually searching from doing that kind of stuff it's another simple way to do it I know it's not Google Analytics or Google's search keyword but it's something that really does help us so hopefully that gives you some ideas uh, if you need more happy to get with you Ronnie and teach as much as we can 
there, there, if, if you remember the slide, this is Mikey. Well, there are, are two more that are really great that most people don't even look at when they're doing keywords. Uh, one is called Google Correlate, and one is called Google Trends. And I'm not sure on the URL on both of those, um, but check those out, Google Correlate and Google Trends. Google Correlate is interesting because what it'll do is if you put in a keyword, say, um, uh, back pain, it'll, it'll map out when, when people are searching for that and how much and the ups and downs and ebbs and flows. And then it'll find other words that correlate along with that same graph. So then you might be able to find other keywords that you can kind of piggyback off of, which, you know, say maybe it's pregnancy. Um, well, people are having back pain when they're pregnant. Yeah. So that keyword kind of correlates with it. So it'll, you know, like women with back pain or women pregnant with right. back pain. Right, so it helps you like dial that. down your keywords right. into uh, a more of a long-tail keyword. Awesome. Thanks, Mikey. I agree. That's uh, two really good resources for you. Okay. Um, another question. Uh, who was Big Nate 84? Big Nate 84. Big Nate 84. Man. He, he wants to you to, uh, about the... When you post a backlink with with user and without user to your channel, the difference. The difference between a backlink from when you're promoting your channel using the full URL. Oh, gotcha. Without the okay. So the difference is is when you when you put your channel name on there, that's what like the link juice is. It's it's all SEO it comes. The link juice comes directly back to you. If you don't use your channel name, if I'm understanding your question right, then what happens is they can go to your channel. But they're not going to have your. Uh, you're not going to get the link juice back to what you needed. And so it's all about link juice and getting your page to have weight. Because if your YouTube page has weight to it, then instantly it's it's more credible. And people. So one thing that a lot of people don't think about is is. But if you have a YouTube channel like Devin and Supertramp, for example, if you can get him to link back to you on one of your channels, you get a lot of link juice because he's got a lot of weight on his page. If that makes sense. So the whole game here is if you're going to get links and you're going to get them back to you, you want that juice because that's what's going to help your channel rank higher. Um, so anyway, if that didn't answer your question, please post again because I want to make sure that we're uh, taking care of you. Um, do we have any more questions? Or? Um, three, three top suggestions to help promote your channel. Three top suggestions to help promote your channel. Number one suggestion I have to help promote your channel is is to go out there and find people in your network that will share your videos for you. Number two is go out there and I, I say this the right way, but go out and basically get involved in your community on blogs and things to that nature. And once you're part of that community for a certain amount of time, you can promote by using the videos to answer questions. And that right there gets you a ton back. And the third way would be is go onto YouTube and become part of the YouTube community as far as on other people's uh, videos and use your video as a video response to one of their videos and that will also help you a ton. So that'll give you three really good ways to promote your video and help you out. Uh, if you have any more questions, once again, throw them in a QA and a and we'll see if we can't uh, answer that for you. Okay, I know they're digging on some questions right now, so sorry for thanks for your patience. Okay, so one thing that uh, I think is really important that most people don't understand with our program is is that once you've got the program, we do 30 days worth of emails. We basically hold your hand through all this process. We have all the printouts for you. We have everything that you've needed to be successful on the on YouTube and 